Pain is an inevitable part of life yet we often try to avoid it or numb it. However, as stated in the Bible, specifically James 1, 2, 4, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. This verse us that embracing our pain can lead to growth, strength, and a deeper relationship with God. In this video we will delve further into this biblical concept of embracing pain and becoming stronger as a result. The Bible, especially in Romans 5, 3, 4, teaches us that pain serves a purpose. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. This verse clearly illustrates how pain shapes us, refines us, and ultimately makes us stronger. It articulates that it is through our struggles we learn not just to depend on, but also trust in the unfailing goodness of God. Jesus himself embraced pain and suffering, enduring the cross for our sake, as quoted in Hebrews 12. 2. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Jesus' willingness to embrace pain and suffering serves as our ultimate example, a testament to his strength and resolve. By following in his footsteps, we can learn to embrace our own pain and become stronger as a result. Such is the profound lesson we can draw from the life and sacrifice of Jesus, as illuminated by Hebrews 12, 2. The Bible emphasizes the significance of conveying our agonies and battles to God through prayer. A beautiful verse from Psalms 34, 18, profoundly encapsulates this idea. The Lord is near the brokenhearted, he saves those crushed in spirit. Here it teaches us to pour out your heart like water before the face of the Lord. Through prayer we are encouraged to present our pain to God, trusting that his greatness is sufficient to handle our doubts and fears. Such a gesture of surrender paves the way for healing and gaining strength. The Bible teaches us that it is through our struggles that we grow and become stronger. The scripture 2 Corinthians 4 17, 18 reminds us of this stating, For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. By following Jesus' example, expressing our pain through lament and trusting in God's goodness, we can transform our pain into a catalyst for spiritual growth and strength. May we learn to embrace our pain, trust in God's sovereignty, and emerge stronger as a result. My God-loving brothers and sisters, I encourage you today to stand steadfast in faith in the Almighty God, according to Psalm 30, 5. Weeping cometh at night, but joy comes in the morning. Like Job, the man of great faith, God will greatly reward you for your perseverance. Keep praying, keep trusting, and God will be with you every mile of your journey. Thanks for watching. I pray God's richest blessings be upon you and your loved ones.